Right people, I said I would give you an editing tutorial because I always get the question, I want to make mobile content but I don't know what I'm doing, how do you make a cool video? I'm going to teach you, alright? I'm going to show you, I've been doing this for like two years now. Two years ago I did not have a single clue how to make a video. These were what my videos used to look like and now this is what my videos look like now. So I've obviously learned a lot by literally just YouTubing it, trying stuff, making shit videos and you just have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until you kind of figure out what you're doing and now I kind of know what I'm doing to a certain extent. Don't get wrong, I'm not the craziest editor in the world, but I feel like I can put together a good little story with minimal like fancy effects and all that sort of stuff. You don't really need it. So that is the first point is, what are you going to do in terms of what editing software you're gonna use? I haven't planned any of this video either. I'm just gonna give you information off the dome, mate. We're gonna freestyle it. Um, what editing software do you wanna use? I use Premiere Pro, it's one of the best ones. They use this for like films and stuff to this day. Do you know what I mean? Like big Hollywood films, they still use this software. It's like 20 pound a month, a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in the long term with the amount of effects and stuff and controls that you can do and learn. This is the best one to go for. So I would recommend that and learn this software. But if you don't want to spend the money, then iMovie on Mac is free. DaVinci Resolve has a free version. Final Cut has a free version. There's loads of different free ones you can use to just basically chop videos together and put them together which is the main premise of editing so let's say right we've got this clip right here okay so you see that part of the timeline that is one clip that also goes into this clip and to this clip so what i've done is i had this section of clip here so as you can see we let this play this goes through goes through there and then the rest of this bit, I'm kind of just like stood here. I'm not really doing anything, it's a bit boring. So what I did was I got the little choppy tool and I cut the boring part out, bosh. And then I just skipped to the next good part, which is from the same clip, but I just stitched it together. So then it moves to this part when I'm actually off the bike and I'm saying something interesting for the people to listen to. And I'm just like, you can't really hear me because it's on the mic here, but I'm just filling in the context. So. The main thing that you're gonna do for the basic, basic level of making a video is literally, you get a clip, you find the interesting bits and you cut out the dead space. That's literally it to make an entertaining video. Unless you just wanna leave it rolling and do like a raw ride, that's obviously an option. But if you wanna make like a more of an entertaining video and you're actually talking and stuff, your main port of call is to cut out all of the dead space and all of the unnecessary bits. Don't get me wrong, if I'm riding down the street or like, like we say here, coming into this garage, I'm not really talking, but it's giving context for where we're going, so I left it in there. So that's not classed as like dead space, that's classed as, okay, we're pulling up to this uh, petrol station right now. Because the last thing you wanna do is just always cut um, the dead space to a point where like I could have just gone here, arriving at this petrol station, and then I could have literally cut straight to us leaving the petrol station here. So you've done all that travel with me through that video, I've got to the petrol station and then I've just cut straight to the next entertaining bit of us leaving the petrol station. So you kind of miss out on the whole what happened there. Sometimes it's nice to actually chill at a location and get some clips, which is why I put in all of this sort of stuff. So this is us just talking like, oh, where did the other group go? Okay, we're gonna chill here for a bit. And then I'll do a little walk around of the bikes and show some bikes that are here. And then like on the way we leave, someone needed bump starting, so we bump started someone and then we left. Do you know what I mean? So that just stitches together that part of the story a little bit better. So we, we pulled up at the petrol station. This is what we did while we were at the petrol station. Now this is why we're leaving because now we're heading to this location. Okay, so you always want to have a little storyline because otherwise it is literally just, we pull up here, okay, now we're going here. Now we're doing this and none of it leads into each other. And the person watching it, it can get a bit like annoying because you're like, well, what's going on then, mate? Let me just chill out for a bit and see what you did when you arrived at that place. So storyline is definitely underlooked when it comes to editing, but it is basically just chopping things next to each other. Cut out the dead space, but make sure you leave in the context. So if we go right from the beginning of this video, I've added a little intro, because it's just fun to give like a teaser. So if it's a, say you watch a 20 minute video, the title and the thumbnail is cool, but you don't really know what you're in for. You don't know if you're gonna like that video until you're like five minutes in and you're like, oh, actually this isn't the video for me. So to uh, mitigate people making that decision themselves, you're gonna show them fun things that are happening in that video and give them like a teaser of what they're about to sit down and watch. That normally triggers them to actually watch the whole video. So I, write, I normally do a little bit of music. If you could even hear it. Just showing snippets. 
show them what's going on. Okay, oh, yeah, they're going cool places. There's loads of bikers having a bit of fun. Look at all those people. That looks cool. This looks like a fun video. I want to watch it. I'm going to subscribe and like and comment right now. Do you know what I mean? Then we go. From the start. Okay, so it's nice to have a little intro where you sort of tease the people in to what you're doing. And obviously, as you can see, music definitely helps. One thing you should do, I used to be a performer, so I kind of understand music quite well. But if you don't and you've got no rhythm, just stick to the beats when you make the cuts. So as you see, let me turn up this music so you can hear this absolute bang in tune. As you can see here, all of these little cuts are to the beat or to the vocals of the music on purpose. I haven't just cut these randomly, I've done it on purpose so it's in time. So listen to this, even the title. See what I mean? So all of those ones were on that first beat, and then when the song went da 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 like a rodeo, I did a slow clip to go with that rodeo, and then it says the second line, something, something, I told you so, and it does another slow line of him singing, and I do both of those swooping clips to that vocal. So listen. See, so those two clips were both on that lyric where it went a bit slower, okay? Big brains, mate. <laughs> you got to think about it. Same with this one. I did that on the lyrics. So I went, it's going down and then changed on the first letter of the next line. So on the like, I switched. You get me? So you need to do stuff like that in order to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit less clunky, all right? So make sure you think about that when you're doing your little intro. Anyway, from there, we go obviously into the start of the story, right? So whatever you're doing that day, try and make a little story. There's, even if you're just fucking about with your mates, there's ways to make it into a little story. Let's go people, another group ride. What you're saying, we're going to the beach. So I'm giving context. I'm like, right, we're going, even though it's in the title, I'm like, right, we're going on a group ride. We're going to the beach and filling in a little bit of information. And I've started off the story of where we're going. So we know we're going to the beach. That's the end goal of this video. So now our job is to fill in all the little segments and find the entertaining bits out of all the footage that we've got, cutting out all the dead space, but also giving context within those little bits as we go checkpoint to checkpoint to checkpoint and pick up people along the way on this group ride. You're with me, all right? That's what's gonna make for an entertaining video. So this first bit, I'm chilling. And then obviously, now I'm just showing everyone like on the group ride. So like we're on a group ride, let's show everyone. So I pull over, let everyone overtake, show that there's loads of people with us. And then obviously I promote some products. I give a teaser as well, because obviously the title of this video was group ride ends in disaster. So obviously you need to hint at what the disaster is because obviously they're going to wait to the end of the video and be like, well, what's the disaster then? So right here, I say, hopefully my bike doesn't break. And then I cut to a piece of the video at the end when my bike has broken to show that that is coming up. So then they're like, oh, okay, right, I want to stay around for this. So Let's listen. And then you show it here, Leak and Cooling. So they know that something's gonna bad's gonna happen and they've got a tease of what they clicked on the video for, okay? So you again, giving context of what they're watching and adding to the story. Obviously I'm promoting products here, like my hoodies and stuff. I'm wearing one of them right now. Game over hoodie, all linked below. Bash. Giving Greg a little shout out as well, because he does mm -hmm. the group rides. But yeah, look, so this all, so all I need to do now is get to the second stop of this group ride. So for me, I'm now I'm just going through the footage and I'm just finding entertaining bits that have happened on the way to this first petrol station. So like this was quite funny, under the tunnel, and then we were about to do the speed limit. So then we cut. All that, all that, all that, to here, all that, all that. just showing some more people, having some fun with the boys, Extra messing around, just finding the funny bits that we can keep in. Um, and then as we go through here, a little bit more context, we're nearly there. We go through some back roads. You can keep as much as, try not to go overkill and keep loads in, but just the fun parts. Like I give, I keep like a good, what's that? From here to here, this whole section is fill from the intro up until the first checkpoint. That's about three minutes of like fill in content. All right, so there's, there was hours of footage that I cut there. You have to detach yourself from the footage. You might really like every single piece of that video and you want to keep every single bit in. But you've got to come from a place of like, um, like you're detached from the footage. You're not married to that piece of footage. So you don't mind if you cut that bit out. I got rid of so many things that happened in this group ride because it just, it's too much. You don't need all of it. So I had to get rid of loads of it. 
hours of footage that I got rid of just to make this three minutes of fun stuff to get to this first checkpoint, all right? So don't marry yourself to a clip and think you have to keep it in. The goal is to try to cut out as much as possible. That's actually the goal. So look, I filled in that context. Now we're at the first point. Cool. And as we, as we spoke about earlier, I'm going to show what happened at this first point and we're not just going to skip to us leaving because that'd be boring. So obviously if we skip to this, get my phone out, do a little bit of that, whatever. Come through. And now we're leaving the actual place. And then again, we're going to do the exact same thing. This is all filler until we get to the next point. And look, here we go. Now we're at the next point. So all that's... I know I've literally just rambled about that for about 10 minutes, but I just want you to understand that. Um, other than that, that's kind of it. To do a simple video and to edit a simple bike video is mainly about the story and the context other than the actual skill. Because let's be honest, this whole video, all of this video, I haven't used anything that you can't do, that you can't literally learn within these five seconds right now that I'm literally about to show you, that I've already showed you. So you find whatever the chopping tool is where you can split a clip in half. This bit's boring, okay, cut there, cut there, take this, chop that out, put those two pieces together. Now we go from here to here. Obviously that was a cut, but you get what I mean. That is all you need to do. That's all I used for this. I didn't use any fancy techniques that you can't learn. I literally chopped this whole video up back to back to back to back to back. It's not about having all these effects I could put on all these effects in here, like you see all of this sh this is all techie stuff that I could do, which I do for like clients and stuff, for like more fancier videos. But for my videos, you do not need to go crazy. I literally just do cuts next to each other. It's more about the story and filling in the context, adding a little bit of music to a bit of timing and working your way through the storyline. That'll portray a better video to watch than for adding all these fancy effects. You know what I mean? You can watch a video with fancy effects, but it's a story and it's boring. Okay, so that's more important about editing. People get that mixed up. All I do is cut clips and put them together. That is it. So anyone can do it. You just need to learn how to make a story, okay? Um, yeah, I, I, again, like here, I didn't have any footage of the bike breaking, so I got my phone out and I, I let you know what happened. Um, but we were basically on the floor and I rang James and I was like, yo, it's leaking. And I show them, show instead of telling. So I'm talking, I could just talk to the camera, but I'm showing what happened. So I've got a couple of behind the scenes clips of the bike breaking. So I'm just filling in this context of what happened for the rest of the evening because I didn't actually film it while I was there. Basically gone and we thought the water pump had cracked. Or... So I'm just, I'm just filling in the story. So then it makes sense. So then when I clip back to this footage at the dealership, which I didn't have any footage of what happened before, now you know what's happened in that time frame. So now we're at the dealership and you know I've broken down and we're stuck here. And again, we're just match cutting clips together. Just that simple little cut, straight through, No, nothing crazy. And then obviously we were chilling, Marcus was scraping his knee. <laughs> and then we headed to the beach while waiting for recovery. And then we start to close out the video. I like to add a little bit of music and then show, because I could just end the video here, because obviously I didn't film the rest of the evening really. I could have just ended the video here and be like, yeah, cool. Yeah, we didn't really go home. But then it almost feels like you haven't, you've been robbed of the ending of the video. Let me just make sure you're still recording. Yes, you are. Um, it almost feels like you've been robbed of the ending of the video. You never want to rob the person. You want to obviously, whatever you say is going to happen, you need to fulfill that end of the story. So. Group ride ends in disaster. We did the group ride, we went to the beach. I could have ended it there, but obviously I need to show what happened in the disaster and how that finished off in the evening. So I made sure I got some clips of the behind the scenes instead of just ending it here when we were about to get picked up by the recovery van, which I could have easily just done. But that kind of robs the viewer. So I had a little bit of music to come to the outro. Oh, that was perfectly comfy then, great. Yeah, you can sit on that for a while. Here we go, now we're getting picked up. Putting the bike in the van so you get to see it. Bike's in the van. We're packing it all up. Now I bring it home, put it in the garage. I'm back home with my broken bike after that long trip. That's a nice way to give the audience a, an ending to the video they clicked on it for. If I just cut it before and you didn't get to see any of that, you'd be like, oh, well, did you get home? What happened? Now the story is actually finished because I've showed you that I got all the way home, got recovered, we made it. Do you know what I mean? So that's concluded a nice story. So that's when people ask me how do I edit, I don't know how to edit, it's not about that, it's literally about how do I make a cool story, how do I make an entertaining 10 minute video for someone to watch, alright, so hopefully that makes sense, I probably rambled a lot there and just repeated myself, but I just want to drill it into your head, alright, 
it, you don't have to go crazy. You don't need to have to, have to know how to do all this color stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, I add colors in. Like, if you look here, I've added a bit of color and all of that sort of stuff. You can learn that on YouTube. It's literally not that difficult. You just make it a bit more bright or a bit more saturated. And then, yeah, I add some audio effects on it to make the audio sound a little better, a little bit better. But again, that's just stuff you can find on YouTube. The simple premise, I don't want you to overcomplicate it. You just need to make an entertaining story, cut out the dead space and put these clips together and make a story. I've said it four times in one sentence. Um, I just cut out all of the... I'm about to repeat myself again. I need to stop talking. Just make a story... Cut out the dead space, show them what they're going to get at the start, make sure they get what they clicked on at the end and finish the story, and make sure there's context in between each point. All right, that's all I'm going to say because I'm going to keep going on and on and on and on and on. So don't make excuses. Editing is easy. Start making bike content. I'll see you in a bit. My throat is so dry now.